Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Orphan Last. Thank you for joining me in yet another tutorial for Open Tunes. And today, once again, we are talking about the X sheet. Okay? And uh, so I don't want any of this. I don't want any of this saved. This is just nonsense that I'm demonstrating for you guys. And as you can see, I just resumed immediately right after I left off. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go new scene. Uh, discard changes, new scene anyways, and I'm going to just go ahead and just go save, uh, save scene as, let's do that, and let's just go, um, punching man, okay, that's what I'm calling the scene, and that'll work for me, <clears throat> okay, so, I've gone ahead and done that. Now, as you saw in the last tutorial, I just clicked here and started drawing. And it, yeah, because of that, it started labeling A, B, C, and that's not descriptive at all. If I go back into the browser and go into my other project here and drawings, you can see I have multiple files named A. I have multiple files named uh, B and stuff. And basically, if you want, and sometimes there's, I, there's no intelligible way to see what's in it. And I could zoom in and just kind of search this until I might be able to find something. Because some, inside of this, this project, I have scenes where I, I have these little little objects, and it's not always easy to find. But like, uh, take arcs, for example. I can uh, right-click and go view, and uh, I can just kind of... Um, there should be a way... Okay, yeah. See, you, we, we can see what's inside of it right here. So... Um, Oh, I don't know if I minimized it. Okay, I must have gotten rid of it. So <clears throat> that's uh, that's something you need to keep in mind. And the way that you prevent it from just automatically labeling uh, le uh, columns or, or and, and levels and such like, yeah, levels. The way that you prevent it from labeling levels as just random letters is you right-click and you go new level. And I'm just going to call this uh, Punching Man Rough. Okay, and that works. And as you can see, I can go ahead and go in here and go and create a tunes vector level, or I can create a tunes raster level. Now, the difference between these two, well, rasters in general, I don't know what the difference from tunes raster to raster is, but uh, a raster, a raster image is basically an image that's created out of pixels. And a pixel, it, I'm sure you've scrolled in on a picture like just a JPEG or something all the way to the point where you see a bunch of multicolored squares and stuff like that. The entire image is made out of squares. And so there comes a point with a raster image when you can just see the image quality get reduced into, into pixelation. And uh, so that's, that's the downside of rasters, but typically, at least in my experience, they take up less memory. Uh, so that's the, that's the big plus with rasters. And vectors, the benefit of vectors is that it creates the image using math. And because of that, because it's using math, geometry and all that, in order to create the image, what's happening is you can zoom in as far as you want and there's never any point where it's going to lose its clarity. It's not going to get pixelated or anything like that. You're just going to see this nice, smooth series of lines or whatever it happens to be that's going on. And... Uh, that's that's something that I really have always admired out of vector images. And then scan level. This is basically when your hand, basically doing traditional animation with just a piece of paper and such like that, and you're drawing, and uh, you, you have multiple levels of animation, uh, papers of animation and everything, and you're scanning them in. OpenTunes uses the peg bars that uh, hold all those pieces of paper together, kind of like a binder, as a, a point of reference as to where to place these characters into the scene and such like that. But we're not dealing with that at all. We're dealing with Toons Vector. And if you press Apply and OK, what happens is you wind up making two separate uh, uh, levels on two separate columns. And I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. So, at this point, I can go ahead and select the first uh, the first uh, frame or level 
basically these these little sections, each little section of the of the column on the columns on the X sheet, they they're interchangeably named either levels or frames. Personally, it, it just makes sense that I don't know, especially when there's nothing in it, it's definitely called a frame. But this would be called a level because it's ready for a drawing to be placed in it. And each time you see a different picture in here, like for example, if I press insert a bunch of times, these are all levels, but they will never be called frames. Okay, let me go ahead and control Z out of that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing. And uh, I don't have any... <clears throat> any means to show a speed drawing. So I'm going to pause it and then resume and pause it and resume each time that I start drawing. Uh, but you can go ahead and, and just follow along with me with whatever creative uh, animation you want to create. Okay? Okay, so I've drawn my next frame here. And I'm going to go ahead and select. I've, I've drawn my first frame. And I've gone ahead and I'm going ahead and, and pressing on the next level. And you can see this. There's this little circular thing here, okay. And for me, it's I changed the colors of this specific thing, okay. And basically, red and blue for me, whatever it is for you, okay. Basically, if I hover my mouse over over on top of it or below it, basically what I can do is I can just go ahead and click right there. And basically, I see kind of a, a light outline of what I drew in the first frame. Okay, and if I go ahead and go to the second frame, we can see that uh, it's, once again, gone all dim. Well, what's going on here? Well, this is what I created. I created an onion skin. And an onion skin is basically the equivalent of having a light table. You drew your first picture, and then you grabbed another piece of paper and put it right on top. And you can see, since it's on top of a light table, you can see what you drew on the low, uh, on the on the first picture. Okay, and so this helps you be able to draw your next image, which very well may uh, be a little bit more action. Like for me, I like to start out with. Um, something that's more like um keyframes i like i like working with uh with keyframes and such like that and uh I, I like to kind of i don't know kind of drawing a stick figure at this point uh but anyways like um Basically, what you do after you've created a number of keyframes is uh, what I can do is I can grab this layer, which is incomplete. I will finish it in a bit. I can go ahead and grab this little gray tab to the left of the of the level on the X sheet and drag it down. Now, you don't want to just select here and then just start drawing. As you can see, it's it's a completely like a. It's no longer saying punching. It says, A, it created a completely different file, and I really hope that it doesn't save it. <laughs> but anyways, you get the idea. And once, once I'm here, I can see the onion skin of this specific level. And I can go ahead and create another one right here. And so I can see both of them. And then I can go ahead and create an image in, in the middle of that and progressively create the animation just by uh, being able to use the onion skins and see them as a reference. Okay, where is his hand going? Okay, and just basically draw the in-between poses in between frames until it's just very subtle differences between the two. But one thing that's a pain in the ass is when you select another layer and then you have to adjust all of your onion skins again. So in order to prevent that, what you can do is you can just move your cursor to the left and you can just click and then you can get rid of these onion skins here and what we have now is an anchored uh, sort of onion skin it doesn't matter where we are on the X sheet we now can see these onion skins no matter what you just need to remember to deactivate them eventually that makes sense please join me in the next video thank you for joining me my name is orphan last please like share and subscribe